एनर्जी खर्च की E1 फिर यहाँ उसने एनर्जी खर्च की E2 फिर उस इसके पास जो एनर्जी बची थी उस एनर्जी के कारण E3 के कारण वो यहाँ से रन कर रहा है एंड इट इज़ हैविंग सर्टेन वेलोसिटी हियर इस तरह से उसका एनर्जी का खर्च है ये सब वर्क फंक्शन नहीं है वर्क फंक्शन कौन सी एनर्जी है सिर्फ ये वाली सो so, ये जो एकदम सरफेस पर रखा हुआ इलेक्ट्रॉन है इस पर जो हम एनर्जी दें इस पर वर्क करें और ये बाहर आ जाए बाहर आकर बस उतनी ही एनर्जी हमने दी कि ये बाहर आया और आकर रुक गया इतनी भी एनर्जी नहीं बची कि वो इससे चल पाए तो ये वाली जो एनर्जी है दिस एनर्जी इज वर्क फंक्शन अगर हमने इसको एनर्जी दी और एनर्जी दे के ये बाहर आया और दौड़ के ऐसे चला गया तो वो हमारी एनर्जी वर्क फंक्शन नहीं है इट इज वर्क फंक्शन प्लस काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो वर्क फंक्शन इज द एनर्जी जस्ट रिक्वायर्ड टू जंप आउट फ्रॉम द सरफेस विदाउट एनी वेलोसिटी हियर इट इज मिनिमम वर्क रिक्वायर्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू इजेक्ट इट आउट जस्ट फ्रॉम द सरफेस of metal without having any velocity so this is the purpose of without any velocity and just from the surface now i hope you understand this okay now it depends upon the metal different metals have different force of attraction different potential energy for their electrons depends upon the configuration that we will discuss and accordingly we have to work on it to bring them out so there is a study and there is a chart which tells us that alkali metals cesium potassium sodium these which are having one electron in the outermost shell outermost orbit they have got minimum work function thoda sa work karte hain inke electron bahar aa jate hain but if we go to platinum see the work function is maximum and it needs lot of work if we want to take out platinum's electron simply same thing for uh, nickel gallium etc so this is work function now how can we give energy to electron so that it comes out that is ejection of electron ejection of electron can be done by three methods we have to give them energy okay so we give them energy by three methods the first method is giving them energy with heat thermal energy and when we give them thermal energy there is lot of agitation its velocity increase and it becomes more than the escape velocity the energy become more than the binding energy and it comes out so that is known as thermal electron see thermal electron will be like this so when we give heat or thermal energy to electrons then they come out and this is known as thermionic emission of the electrons from the metal and these electrons are given adjective thermal electrons so this is by thermal energy इंक्रीजिंग काइनेटिक थ्योरी वी हैव स्टडीड काइनेटिक थ्योरी क्या बताती है कि आप हीट दीजिए टेम्परेचर और उससे उसकी वेलासिटी बढ़ जाएगी ओके तो उसके कारण वो बाहर आ जाएगा दूसरे तरह का है फील्ड एमिशन अगर हमने एक मटीरियल के एटम में यहाँ पर पॉजिटिव चार्जेस वाली प्लेट रखी तो यहाँ पर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बनेगा नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव दिस इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड और इस इलेक्ट्रॉन पर इधर फोर्स लगेगा ई इंटू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस है तो ई इंटू वी इसको एनर्जी मिलेगी फोर्स ई वी लगेगा ओके तो इस एनर्जी के कारण ये एनर्जी अगर इतनी ज्यादा हो जाए ये फोर्स अगर इतना ज्यादा हो जाए कि इसके फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन से ये वाला फोर्स ज्यादा हो जाएगा तो ये बाहर निकल आएगा जब ये इलेक्ट्रॉन बाहर निकल आएगा मेटल्स के बाहर आ गया 
that will be known as field emission and this will electron will be known as field electron or simple electron this is field emission third tarah ka third type ka emission hai that is photo emission photo emission photo emission there is a metal on this metal the light falls on it when the light hits light of appropriate frequency light or radiation that means this may be ultraviolet this may be x ray so any appropriate frequency which is powerful enough if that strikes on the metal we find that electron is ejected out this was done and seen by alvick and lennard this experiment was done by them it was seen by them when the light falls on a zinc plate it become positively charged what does that mean electrons have moved out similarly they tried it on many metals with ultraviolet then it was tried with the visible light the visible light was not able to take out the electrons from copper or from platinum nickel but later when it was experimented even visible light was able to take out electrons from cadmium and uh, that is uh, sorry cesium potassium sodium from that even the visible light was taking out the electrons so these electrons which are ejected out due to energy of the light falling on the metal these are known as photo electrons and this phenomena this is known as photo emission fermionic emission field emission photo emission photo emission by the light so light of appropriate frequency can eject out electrons and such electrons are known as photo electrons so this is how electrons can be taken out and what we are going to study now in the dual nature is when light is used to take out the electrons in the form of photo electrons then the light can be treated only as packets packets of energy that is quantum of energy if we take it as a light the wave fronts of a particular amplitude falling continuously on the electron then electron is not ejected out if we take that format of giving energy but if we take format of a gun which is giving the bullets that is photons are coming and hitting the metal and each photon has got a particular energy level then we can explain whatever is observed in the experiment done by helweg and lennard so helweg and lennard experiment was a milestone to prove that light travels in the form of small packets of energy and not as a wave front which is having amplitude which is giving energy continuously so that experiment after knowing the character of electrons what is the meaning of work function now we will study the experiment in the next lecture which will give us the relation between these electrons which are coming out work function and the energy in the packet as given by max planck 
what was that h nu so h nu work function and energy of the electrons how these were connected together by helbeck and leonard's experiment this we will study in the next lecture thank you